what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i have an unboxing we're going to be unboxing some off-grid communication devices i'm going to be unboxing the think node m1 and m2 by elkrow these devices are really good uh, because of the fact that they are beginner friendly they already have the mesh tastic firmware already flashed to the devices in this video we're also going to set them up and show you how easy it is to set up and start communicating i'm also going to compare the two and let you know which one is better for certain types of scenarios so the first one we're going to be unboxing is the m1 think node so let's talk a little bit about the device this is an elcro think node m1 a compact device built for off-grid communications outdoor use and emergency situations it runs on an nrf 52840 chip with bluetooth support and comes preloaded with the mesh tastic firmware it uses the sx1262 lora chip for long-range communication and works with the official mesh tastic app to send messages share locations and to monitor networks this device has a one 0.54 inch e-paper display with 112 milliamp hour battery that lasts over 48 hours and it has a built-in gps for accurate tracking this durable sealed case makes it ideal for rough environments no cell towers needed you are your own network so looking at this device first impressions it reminds me of a t echo now the t echo is about 20 dollars more and the battery capacity is 850 milliamp hours so this device claims to have 1200 so you get a little bit more battery life and for 20 dollars less so after filming this and doing post editing it, it's 20 dollars less if you don't get the case but if you were to get the case it's now 53.90 so it's a, still a little bit less than a t echo but yeah now it doesn't feel as solid as the t echo but it's still a very viable option, especially for that 48 hour battery life. Very promising. And this dimmable ink screen is a very nice touch. If you really want to conserve energy, I just recommend turning that off altogether. And I think that's, if you have that feature all the way off and you just uh, leave it with minimal communication, you probably get that 48 claimed hours. Now let's unbox the ThinkNode M2. The ThinkNode M2 is a compact LoRa transceiver built on the ESP32 S3 chip. It supports Bluetooth. It comes pre-installed with a mesh-tastic firmware for easy wireless communications. The XX1262 LoRa chip enables stable long-range messaging. Users can configure and manage everything through the mesh-tastic app, including messaging, app sharing, network monitoring, and custom settings. It features a one point three inch oled display a 1000 milliamp battery and supports multiple lora frequencies the modular design makes it ideal for embedded projects and diy setups but what really makes this different is that this comes pre-installed with best tastic all you need to do is connect to it over bluetooth connection on the app and just set up the region and you're good to go i'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to set up both these devices but for 20 bucks to have a ready to go gadget that's kind of nice all right ghost again so again that's without the case it's 20 dollars, so it's a little bit over 20 dollars now if you were to add the case like i'm demonstrating in the video it's 43 and change so keep in mind now let's compare the two so the m1 i think is better for blackout scenarios or survival scenarios because of the ink screen now i'm a big fan of the ink screens because they use very little power now for half the price of the m1 the m2 is a good option for beginners because for the sole fact that it has the mesh tastic firmware already pre-installed and all you gotta do is set it up in the app speaking of setting up let's go ahead and start with the m2 so open up the app you're going to see the device there click on it and you have to pair it for the first time um go ahead and put the code that says on the screen into the app once you're done click pair all right so now you need to set up the region so depending on where you are you need to click the right region because i'll put you on the right radio frequency so click on region and then you're going to pick your region so me i'm in the us so i click on us and then you're going to hit save once you hit save it's going to reboot your device and you'll re then you'll reconnect to it all right so i just reconnected to it and you can see here it's ready to go so let's go ahead and test it i'm going to send a message using one of my other mesh testing devices and you see that it went through all right so i'll show you what it looks like out here so i'm going to go ahead and send a message and you'll see it when i receive it i get it on my phone but also on the device itself Pretty cool. So now let's test out the M1. So I set up the M1 the exact same way. I just selected the region and now it's rebooting. So it'll be ready to go for testing in a moment. All right, so let's send a message and it's working. 
So you get the little message on the screen, just like the other device, but this one's the ink screen, and uh, you get the message on your phone, and you can respond to it on your phone. So both devices worked. I showed you how easy it was to set up, and especially for the M2, have it almost ready to go gadget. That's pretty awesome. All right, so that's it for this video. So we did the unboxing, we did the setup guide, and we talked briefly on what these devices have to offer, some of the specs, and I want to know what you guys think. So for me, I really do like both of them. Uh, I like the Inked one for the sole purpose that it's a cheap version of the T Echo, um, but um, it's not that less capable it has almost double the battery life um and it's pretty convenient it's small uh, form factor and it's a lot lighter the m2 for being ready to go gadget that's huge i keep saying that that's huge because it is thank you alcor for sending me these devices i'll leave all the product links in the description and the way the world is nowadays maybe it's time to pick up something like this so remember safety is an illusion